so I'm sitting here on the couch, and all of a sudden, the doorbell rings, and I'm like, ooh, what could that be? Turns out, this box was delivered. It's my new computer. So what we're going to do today is open it up and take a look at what's inside this magical box. So I got my trusty steak knife. Okay. Okay, first of all, I got this packing list. Um, let's see if I can get it open. Excellent. Packing list. I'll set that over there because I want to be surprised. I mean, I kind of know what's in here. <laughs> okay. Let me set that knife down for a second. Okay, so what we got looks like two boxes. Oh, I think I know what that is. That's the that's the keyboard. Let's set that over there. Open this. Okay, we got that's the mouse. And this is looks like the power cord. Excellent. Yeah, who needs who needs the destructions anyway? <laughs> Lifting this piece out here. Oh, so it looks like it was just packaged in plastic. So let's go ahead and give it a lift, shall we? So I have unpacked the the tower now. So I'm just gonna doing some cleanup real quick, and so we can take a look at this beauty. Okay. So first glance, it looks looks good. It looks very very clean. I'm surprised I didn't pack it inside its own little box inside the big box, but you know. They do what they got to do, I guess. Coming around to the front. Looks good. My hands are shaking, sorry. I'm so excited. Let's see, so that's, this is the G5 Dell desktop. You can tell because it says G5 right there. <laughs> oh, my hands are shaking so bad, I'm so sorry. This one has an Intel Core i7, 10th gen. And that has uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 10, uh, 1660 Ti in it for the graphics card. And I am honestly loving it. I'm loving the look of it. I thought it was going to be smaller than this. Honestly, I didn't. I guess I just didn't fully grasp how what the dimensions were when I looked at it online. Uh, it was a hard choice between the XPS tower and this one. Uh, the XPS tower was a little more expensive, about the same size and everything, but I wanted one that was designated as, sorry, as a gaming desktop. So this, that's what this one is. And so what we can do now is put it in its rightful place next to the computer desk. <laughs> So this is my setup. I have a 32 inch 1080p TV right here. I have my Logitech sound system that I've had since, well, it's probably two, three, three and a half years old. My old Logitech wireless keyboard. Down here is the subwoofer for that. And I just set the desktop in right here. 
I mean, it says desktop, so it's like, okay, it should be up here. But, you know, <laughs> space and whatnot. So here's my printer. So what I'm gonna do now is plug in all the wires that go for this. So I have an HDMI cable right there that I'm gonna use to plug in the display with. I have the audio wires I can plug in and the printer wires and get this thing up and running. Let's open up the, the keyboard and mouse first of all and we can get that done. Look at these split. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to plug in the power cord. I'm not going to plug it into the this power strip here. I'm going to plug it into the wall instead. I planned that out in advance, of course. So that goes right in there. And let's see, let's pull out this a little bit like, like so. So I can get behind. Okay, the power supply goes in. Right there. Just like that. I saw that green light flash for a second. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is take the HDMI cord which we have right here. We're gonna find the HDMI input. I mean, it is output for the for the CPU, but okay, I think I see it right here. So what I'm gonna do is plug this in like so. That must be where the GPU connects up. Okay, now we're gonna turn on the display and see what happens. Okay. Oh, the speaker's in the way. Let me just move that over here for a second. See, the signal's right there, which is stupid because this TV's signal is right here. And if you're sitting on the couch, it's covered by the sound bar. And so that makes it really hard to turn on this TV. But we got this. Let's see which... This should be plugged into the right HDMI. I was using it with my laptop and everything, so that should be good. Now we come down here, and the power button is right there. Let's see what, oh, got some flashing lights. Excellent. Okay, alert, keyboard not found. Oh yeah. Okay, so we gotta get rid of this keyboard. Set it on the chair, get this keyboard. Carefully, carefully. So it's coming up like that. So we gotta send this keyboard down. Just a moment. Underneath, like that. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that yet, just yet. Cause we gotta finish this first. Okay, now. Yeah, my gotten entanglement. So I'll get this fixed up and put the mice put the mouse in and we'll get right back to you.
so we're all hooked up with the keyboard and mouse. It's a mess of wires back there now. But the LED light looks good, I guess. Okay. So we're going to do this now. Let's see, the keyboard should sit right there. Maybe overlap the mouse pad a little bit. The mouse is good right there. So yeah, we got, we've got mouse movement. Select the United States. Okay, is this the right keyboard layout? Yeah, I want the United States keyboard. Uh, skip. Okay, well, I'll, I'll set a little bit of this up and we'll get right back to you. So now it looks like it's going to go through the Windows 10 licensing and stuff. So we'll hit accept and it will give us what we need. Okay, so I guess I have to add my Microsoft account now. So I'm going to let you go while I do that. Okay, so it looks like now it will get ready, get everything ready for me. It might take several minutes. And so we will come back when it is done doing whatever it's doing. Now I'm going to take you through what the setup looks like. All set up. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. It's all there. And then I'm eventually going to move to this desk here back, but it's doing and so, um, so, yeah, got the printer, and it looks really nice sitting there. And the, the wires can use a, a bit of updating, but, yeah, look at that. There we go, look at that. Look at that. So I'm going to have to configure it to make it look like a laptop that I've been using for now, but that should be just fine. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been the unboxing video of my new G5 Dell desktop. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to look out for new videos and I'll see you next time.